హలో స్టూడెంట్ జై స్వామి నారాయణ టుడే వి స్టార్ట్ విత్ ది న్యూ చాప్టర్ లీనియర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ వాట్ డూ అండర్స్టాండ్ మై లీనియర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ లీనియర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ వాజ్ డెవలప్ బై డాన్సింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫార్టీ సెవెన్ వైల్ వర్కింగ్ ఫార్ యుఎస్ ఎయిర్ ఫోర్స్ లీనియర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఈజ్ వైడ్లీ యూజ్డ్ ఇన్ సాల్వింగ్ ద వీరియస్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ చాప్టర్ we shall study linear programming applications in solving the problem of construction management linear programming tries to address the this problem by converting the objectives and constraint in the form of linear equations and equ- in equalities it is assumed that the variables in the linear programming have linear relationships in construction there may be multiple objectives but we shall treat the problem with single objective and solve it okay it is very important to convert the problem into a mathematical model first we shall learn how to convert a real life problem in the mathematical model a mathematical model is nothing but an objective function which has to satisfy the several constraints shown in form of inequalities okay let us take a simple example of model development suppose there is a hollow block manufacturer who manufactures who manufactures the hollow blocks of four types b1 b2 b3 and b4 time consumed in making those these blocks is 10 15 20 and 5 minutes respectively okay and the manufacturer wants to get a maximum profit the above data is tabulated below below it is assumed that the block producing machine are running for 8 hours daily okay to yahan pe kya hai hollow block type hai b1 b2 b3 b4 time tick kam diya hai okay प्रॉफिट कितना है टू टू पॉइंट फाइव थ्री वन पॉइंट फाइव ये सब दिया है तो मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल ब्लॉक्स तो यहाँ पे हमारे पास फोर एटी मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल ब्लॉक्स फोर एटी ये भी दिया है मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल ब्लॉक्स डिवाइड बाय टेन तो फोर्टी एट ओके टाइम टेक ऑन मैक्सिमम कितना प्रोड्यूस करना है फोर एटी 480 डिवाइड बाय 10 तो कितना आएगा 48 480 डिवाइड बाय 15 तो 32 480 डिवाइड बाय 20 तो 24 एट आवर्स है तो एट आवर्स डेट मेंस 480 डिवाइड बाय 20 24 480 डिवाइड बाय 5 यहाँ पे 480 क्या दिया है तो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो यहाँ पे सब टाइम टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स पे दिया है और आपको जो भी मशीन है वो एट आवर्स तक चलाना है तो एट आवर्स का मिनट कितना होगा एट आवर्स इंटू सिक्सटी करेंगे तो कितना आएगा फोर एटी आएगा ना तो फोर एटी डिवाइड बाई टेन तो फोर्टी एट फोर एटी डिवाइड बाई फिफ्टीन तो थर्टी टू फोर एटी डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी फोर फोर एटी डिवाइड बाई फाइव दैट मीन्स नाइन्टी सिक्स तो ये सब मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल ब्लॉक्स है अभी प्रॉफिट कितना है तो मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट है फोर्टी एट इंटू टू नाइन्टी सिक्स दैन ये थर्टी टू है इसको इस पर मल्टीप्लाई करो ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू थ्री एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स इंटू वन पॉइंट फाइव थर्स फ्रॉम द अबाउट एवर इट इज़ क्लियर दैट मैन्युफैक्चर शूड सी लैक द बी फोर टाइप ऑफ ब्लॉक्स टू गेट मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट the manufacturer shall be definitely interested in knowing a is this maximum benefit uh, is this maximum ba- benefit is okay and is there any another plan which gives still more profit to koi bhi manufacturer hoga to wo aisa sochega ke bhai isme se mujhe maximum benefit mil sakta hai okay कोई अनदर ऑप्शन है जिसमें से मैं मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट ले सकूँ ये दो ऑप्शन के बारे में सोचेगा सोचेगा लेटस नो नाउ ट्राई टू प्रिपेयर द मॉडल ऑफ दिस 
problem. First of all, it is not given how much blocks of each category be manufactured. So let us assume that x1, x2, x3 is equal to x3 and x4 that is the blocks of b1 category blocks of b2 b3 and b4 category are manufactured so that profit is maximum the profit z is given by following expression so z is equal to 2x1 plus 2.5x2 plus 3x3 plus 1.5x4 तो 2 2.5 ये सब क्या कहाँ दिया है ये दिया है प्रॉफिट तो उसको x1 से मल्टीप्लाई किया तो दैट मीन्स b1 b2 b3 b4 उससे मल्टीप्लाई किया फर्स्ट वी हैव टू मैक्सिमाइज द सैड एंड हियर द इक्वेशन वन इज ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन एंड वी हैव बीन गिवन द टाइम टू प्रिपेयर वेरियस ब्लॉक्स एज फॉलोज 10 minutes for one block b1 type, 15, 20, 5 minutes अलग अलग time दिया है तो that is called constraint. Now total time consumed in preparing x1 blocks of b1 type, x2 blocks of b2 type, x3 blocks of b3 type and x4 blocks of b4 type. So is equal to 10x1, 10x1, 15x2, 20x3 and 5x4 minute which should be the less than or equal to 8 hours less than or equal to the 8 hours that means 480 minutes so how much will 10 x1 plus 15 x2 plus 20 x2 x3 plus 5 x4 less than or equal to 480 now the objective function uh, inequality in, in equation number 2 is known as the constraint ऑब्जेक्टिव कोई भी आपको एग्जांपल दिया हो कोई भी डेटा दिया हो तो उस पे से आपको फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन बनाना रहेगा और उसका कंस्ट्रेंट कौन सा है वो बनाना रहेगा आफ्टर दैट आप सॉल्व कर सकते हैं नाउ द नंबर ऑफ द ब्लॉक्स मैन्युफैक्चर्ड आर पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स बिकॉज़ वन कैन नॉट मैन्युफैक्चर नेगेटिव नंबर ऑफ द ब्लॉक्स दैट मींस माइनस 10 माइनस दैट मींस यहां पे आप नेगेटिव साइन नहीं दे सकते यहां पे जो साइन दिया है वो नेगेटिव नहीं दे सकते ब्लॉक्स कैन नेवर बी मैन्युफैक्चर्ड देयरफॉर x1 x2 x3 x4 दैट इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू 0 देयर आर आल्सो द कंस्ट्रेंट्स तो अभी आपके पास मॉडल डेवलप विल बी द मैक्सिमाइज दैट इज इक्वल टू 2x1 2.5x2 3x3 1.5x4 subject to this here the values of x1 x2 x3 x4 are found out by known method of solution they are such that when they are su substituted in objective function gives the maximum value of z and simultaneously satisfy the constraints let us another example of forming the linear programming model a contractor manufacturers doors manufactures doors and windows he earn a profit of 500 and 600 through the sale of a window and a door respectively for making each window and door two shops are required one carpentry and other is painting in carpentry shop i uh, eight carpenters are employed who work for eight hours daily and in painting department eight full-time painters and one part-time painters are employed the part-time painters work for 4 hours. Fabricating window is required 3 hours in carpentry and 1 hour in painting. One door requires 4 hours in carpentry and 4 hours in painting. All the doors and windows manufacture are sold due to the existing wood market condition. Now it is uh, required to maximize the profit under the required condition. Tabulate the above observation as shown in the figure. The carpentry consumption per, per unit. So window 3, painting may 1, then door may carpentry 4 or painting 4. Kya window or door ke baare mein?
the part time painter worker for uh, 4 hours fabricating window required 3 hours in carpentry and 1 hour in painting three hours in carpentry and one hour in painting four hour in carpentry and four hour in painting so 64 hours eight hours daily carpentry shop uh, shop I are uh, eight carpenters are employed and other painting in carpentry eight carpenters and who works uh, for eight hours daily okay sixty four hours and sixty eight hours okay. sixty four hours divided by three and sixty eight maximum production sixty four hour divided by three and 68 hour divided by 1 our profit is now 500 600 so 64 divided by 3 into 500 so it will 16 divided by 600 so it now let us find out the model for this problem our aim to maximize the profit and let us assume that x1 windows and x2 doors be manufactured so that the profit is maximum profit z is equal to 500 x1 plus 600 x2 we have limitations in availability of hours in carpentry and painting shop if we manufacture x1 and x2 windows so we expand 3x1 plus 4x2 hours of carpentry but that should be less than or equal to 64 hours okay 64 similarly total expanded hour in painting are x1 plus 4x2 which should be less than or equal to 68 naturally x1 and x2 greater than or equal to 0 so the model is maximize z is equal to 500x1 plus 600x2 then 3x1 plus 4x2 that is less than or equal to 64x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 68 and x1x2 greater than or equal to 0 here yeah, actually 64 hours or 68 hours de diya gaya hai okay to aapko consider karna hai now let us find out the model for this problem to our aim is to maximize the profit and let us assume x1 windows and x2 window be manufactured so that the profit is maximum profit z is equal to 500 x1 plus 600 x2 x2 we have limitation in availability of hours in carpentry painting shops if we manufacture x1 window and x2 doors We expand hours of carpentry, but uh, that should be less than or equal to 64. Similarly, to total expanded hours in painting are this, which should be less than or equal to 68. Naturally, x1 and x2 greater than or equal to 0. So, the model is maximize this 500x1 plus 600x2 uh, subject to 3x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 64 x1 plus 4 x2 less than or equal to 68 and x1 and x2 is greater than or equal to 0 formulation of linear programming problem linear programming problem can be generally can be generally shown as maximize or minimize z sigma cj and uh, into xj subject to eij into x j less than equal to b i where i is equal to 1 to m x j is equal greater than equal to 0 and j is equal to 1 to m the generalized form is explained in the following table the resources per unit activity that is 1 to m resource consumption 
quantity of the resources that means a11 a12 a13 of 2 a1n usi tarah se alpha11 uh, a11 a21 a31 continuous up to a2n a3n okay then c1 per unit contribution c1 c2 c3 constants okay here m represents the resources n represents number of activity x j represents activity it is also called the decision variable cj refer to the unit contribution also known as the cost and profit coefficient as the case may be b i represents the resource availability z represents the objective functions which have has been to be maximized if it is showing the profit and minimize if it is showing the cost here m represents the resources then n represents the number of activities x j represents the activity it is called as a decision variables then cj refer to refer to per unit contribution also known as a cost or profit coefficient as the case may be bi represents the resource availability z represents the objective functions which has to be maximized if it is showing profit and minimized if it is showing the cost resources time resource consumption per unit production of block type the block making machine alpha 1 1 10 alpha 1 2 15 20 5 okay or c1 c2 c3 c4 that is uh, c1 is 2 then c2 is 2.5 profit per unit ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन क्या है 2x1 2.5x2 3x3 1.5x4 सब्जेक्ट टू 10x1 15x2 20x3 5x4 दैट इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू b 8 आवर्स 8 आवर्स दैट मींस 48 मिनट्स ओके 8 आवर्स 1 आवर बराबर 60 मिनट होता है तो 8 आवर बराबर 8 60 कितना आएगा फॉर एटी और एक्स वर्ड एक्स यू एक्स सी एक्स फोर दैट इज लेस देन इक्वल टू जीरो आज हम इतने तक ही पढ़ेंगे नेक्स्ट टाइम हम ग्राफिकल मेथड सिंप्लेक्स मेथड उसके बारे में देखेंगे ओके थैंक यू